think I'm gonna stop the video for now. No, don't worry, just let it go. Yeah. I don't think that we got any kind of timing. It's okay. It's okay. 30 seconds now. So at about a minute and a half, you should start to see it turn yellow. Yeah, so the injection for me doesn't matter as much because my reaction is not limited by mixing kinetics. Other That's reactions so will have already turned colors by now. I think we should stop it temporarily. I think you should let it go until it runs out. Because you'll actually... I want you to see the but color I don't to yellow. I don't want to lose the whole thing. No, you won't. Okay. If it stops itself? We're going to have to edit the sound. <laughs> Okay, still colorless, a minute and seven seconds. And perceptibly yellow, a minute and fifteen. Starting yeah. to darken. That's awesome. And twenty. So now those are very small crystallites, probably less than a nanometer. And it's just going through its nucleation stage now. Dude, it's definitely turning yellow. Those are about a nanometer or something like that. The color is darker than what it is at room temperature. If you were to cool this down, they would be colorless. Looks like some seriously dehydrated pee. Here we go. Minute 45, definitely yellow. Darker yellow. And it's turning orange. beginning to turn orange. So that's really just dark yellow. Now it's beginning to get orange. And orange. It's just about two minutes since I started the timer. Right. So, you know, about two minutes it's orange and it will continue to go. And so it'll be brown by the time seven minutes hits. So, to stop it, we're just going to lift it up. And I'm going to put it in an oil bath. Where's the oil bath? Under here. Okay. The temperature is 317 right now. Okay. So this is a little bit hotter than usual, but only by a degree it's or two. It's still orange, even though on the camera it appears red. Well, yeah, no, it's about orange. Well, this thing has longevity. Can I get a little smile in there? <laughs> Happy scientists at work. Uh -huh. Hold on, hold on. Are you, oh, get me next to my particles. <laughs> Alright, so three minutes, and now it's a red color. These would be orange if you cool them down. These are uh -huh. about three nanometers right now. Okay. 2.7 to 3 nanometers. Cool. This is awesome. It is pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> Hopefully that worked. Alright, 315. Three that minutes cool. and 15 seconds. So. You know, with the cadmium oxide prep, it would have been red within before the injection was over. Right. Yes. I'm not looking forward to that. The problem too is going to be when we're doing it, we won't be able to see it at all. Right. That's my other slight concern. Mm -hmm. That's why we don't want to use that for validation testing. Well, that's where we need help from, not ourselves. I mean, but now we're going to do two of those. In our validation test, do you mm -hmm. think that's going to be reasonable or not? I think that's fine. I don't. I just want to see that the vacuum works. That's all. That. So I had designed a test to just test the vacuum. And that's fine. That's good. But I mean, we want to do the actual. We want to complete a synthesis with the vacuum. So we'll do it. Test. But then what I'm nervous about is that is it really going to meet the standards? There's no standard set. I mean, we'll find out. Maybe the particle size won't be good. But guess what? That reaction's not good. Right. So. Oh, it's going to run out soon, I think, because the right. timer is turning red. Okay. Well, Perfect. anyway, so we're going to stop it at seven and a half minutes, and that'll give us more.